Oh, you're vlogging? Oh, hi. <laughs> My name is Toxic Corpse. Um, you might be wondering why we're dressed like we're about to go to the gym. Well, we were gonna, but it's closed. So we figured we might as well get our cardio in by looking around some of our local stores. Like for a good while, I guess. Yeah. Might as well. I really needed to get some cardio working out today, but I can't. Might go for a walk outside. If it's I not wish I could read this sign, but it's stapled together. Because it says Happy Halloween with a bat on it, so. Oh, that's cute. This is our local Dollar Tree. It's yep. where we live. We have that sign. Which one? Oh, yeah, it's hanging up in the kitchen, isn't it? Caution interview dinner. I like this one. Yeah, I like that one too. The fangs all here. I like that one a lot too. It's really cute. That would be kind of cool, do a gym vlog. I was always thinking about doing it. Need a new wine glass. That's cute. Big cup of purple. And rainbow chrome. Cute. I think your, you know, little stickies on the windows are melting, or yeah, have already melted, so melted you have to into like. Freaking window. <laughs> and covered in bugs. Yeah, you have to get those off and put new ones on. If we can get them off. Yeah, should be able to. My hands are too big. If your hands are too big, then my hands are too big. I got big hands. They're wide. Isn't this what we had? This pumpkin one? Of course, I don't, I don't have to tell them the price for the, of anything, because <laughs> it's all the same. Do we have, no, we want, one that we have we is have different. Like it. have no, that. it's that one right there. Yep. We have a guy right there, and it's, the spider glows in the dark. It doesn't even glow. But, okay, well, it used to. They're hanging with bats. I think. It's hung up in the kitchen. <laughs> goofy ass bat. He is goofy. <gasps> you can put bad things on your pets. Imagine this on like Reese. Oh god, she'd hate it. I don't even know if she'd be able to fit in it. What are those? Rickety bones. They're window clings. I'm waiting for my scary docu-series to drop. That feeling when you've lost all feeling. <laughs> lost it. That's funny. Why do I feel like that'd be like our, you know, gravestones? Like people in the, like, what are we? We're, Gen we're not Gen Z's. What are we? I guess millennials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that'd be even like millennials tombstones, like "Law Dead," "Here Lies the Goat." Oh, 
I got my nails did. That helped me. Aren't they cute? They're a lot easier to work with than like the nails I used to get. They're um, from TG Maxx when I got them uh, Friday. Or a different TJ Maxx. And we did them yesterday and last night. Uh -huh. Little witches. I'm down over birds. Shit. I thought we had gotten you some. No, oh, it's only for right hands. What? my nomies. That's something my grandma will get. She loves her garden names. Yeah, I'm into that. Those are the buckets and stuff I use for naked lashes. Yeah. Pretty much. Because it's cheap and, you know, why not? You have the pumpkin one, don't you? I don't think I do. Not sure. Didn't we, didn't your mom make us some? Yeah, last year. Yeah, I remember sipping on it, I think, while we were outside. Some with alcohol, some with alcohol. Oh, there's more up there. Next boogie. These are like little kids' candy baskets. I guess. There's also these, but... Happy Halloween on it. Is there one in the shape of a tooth? Oh, no, it looks like they're all candy shaped. Oh. Is this what I think it is? It is. <laughs> it's a little chip platter. Or oh. a dip platter. That's kind of cool. Right? Hell yeah. <clears throat> it's a dollar girl. A dollar, bleh, dollar tree. What's what this? That's it's like a dinner tray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another one. Yeah. That one's cute. Dollar Tree is like the place you you buy decorations for like a party. Strictly for a party. Ooh. I saw those. They got kitchen towels. Uh, I guess one set of them. Huh. Bon appetit. Bon cute. appetit. <coughs> That's really cute. <coughs> this stuff is just kind of tossed around. Apothecary shop. It's cute. Lots of pencils. Once I went back to the retractable or mechanical pencil, I can never go back to these. 
Yeah. Mechanical pencils were my favorite to use. Definitely more expensive, but I didn't have to fucking sharpen it. True. I always hate, remember like, it was like dead silent in the class and your like pencil broke or something or it was getting pretty dull and your writing wasn't as good so you like would have to get up in front of the class and sharpen your pencil and it would be like right. the one where you have to turn it depending on how old it was or how old how outdated the classroom was okay. or you'd use the mechanical sharpener and it would be like super loud and dead silence and everybody would be like looking at you <laughs> i hated it I would much rather see in that situation. I'd much rather prefer the one that you turn because I mean it's noise. quieter, but still, I didn't like getting up in the middle of the class. Those things I don't feel like did as well as the mechanical sharpener. Yeah. I guess is what you, or electric sharpener. Yeah, that's why I would always have. We my... literally put it in there, and then it would just sharpen it for you in a yeah. little slot. That's why I would just have my own personal sharpener. That's why I had a shit ton of mechanical pencils. You can put jewelry in there. Yeah, I could. That's cute. Fantastically terrifying tales of horror to scare you to the bone. Ooh. Spell book. I think I would get pretty, I think you should get one of those or a couple of them to put your jewelry in so it's not scattering yeah, everywhere. <clears throat> that is an excellent idea. I want this one. Is that going to fit all, even the big bracelets and stuff? It should. I would get another one just in case. This should fit. I would get another one. This should fit. Get another one just in case. If you don't end up needing it, you can always find use for it for something else. This one's a little bit bigger. It is, but El it's not that cute. De las muertos. There's gotta be something else down there you like. Okay, for you. Nah. Oh. oh, here's a bigger one. Oh. Oh, there you go. Multi piece. Yeah, yeah, that's bigger. Black and orange would be cool. Yeah, definitely lots of arts and crafts. And this is all candy and stuff. Spiderweb cotton candy? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Spiderweb cotton candy, huh? What, just the fact that it's white? Is that what? That's how I see myself. Well, that's not how I see myself. I'm prettier. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently you have these little teeth and you bite into the candy. That's supposed to look like blood. That's funny. It's like all gooey, but I don't trust dollar store gummies because it probably tastes like rubber. Wow. They got spiders. Spectacular gummies mix. 
tastes like a rubber. Cotton, uh, candy corn, cotton candy. I don't mind the flavor of um, Jesus, candy like corn. That. It's just not my favorite. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids is out. Scooby Doo, Flintstones, Tom and Jerry, Gooey popping candy. Oh, these are the little candy cigarettes. Oh. I used to love those things. <laughs> I remember I took one, I lit it once just to see, and it tasted like fucking marshmallows. Yeah. I, I lit one up because that <laughs> gave the you know, realism. It tasted like marshmallows. Marshmallows? Yeah. Marshmallows? We took the lighter, lit the candy. Marshmallows. Marshmallow? Marshmallow. I don't know if there's anything else. But... <clears throat> no, the next aisle is just a ball right here. Mm. Dahlia clip. What in the world? Are these like the steak lights? Yeah. Solar steak lights? That's cute. I don't know how good they would be to use, but. Well, that's all the Halloween stuff, isn't it? For the most part, yeah. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> I don't know if you guys enjoyed this small little um, Halloween tour of uh, Dollar Tree. Leave a like, subscribe, and as always, we'll catch you on the dark side.